Hello, John Britt here. Today we're going to do some uh, glazing of uh, plate. So I'm going to sort of show you all the steps. First thing I'm going to do, I put it on this banding wheel and I'm going to wax. I have some Aftosa wax here that I like. And I put, usually put it in a little container like this. And then I will get the wheel spinning. And then just hold, you know, hold the brush on there. Get a little more. It's a pretty easy way to get it, you know, a good uh, wax coat. Uh, and then for mine, I have a name here, so I will just sort of wax the name out. Otherwise, it gets obliterated if I glaze in there. All right, so now I'm going to have to let that dry, but I'm going to put another plate on here that I have had dried already. First thing we're going to do is glaze the inside. Uh, if you'll notice here in my glaze bucket, I have a stir. It's a toilet bowl stir that's plastic. That's a great way to keep things mixed up. Then I have these little cups you know you get from Walmart and stuff. So now I'm going to just pour this in here and you know roll it around some. And then when I'm ready, I just pour it out. And if that, if you could, now you can watch this drying. Looks like a decent coat. Stay there a minute. I have to get, I have to get a brush because sometimes I have to, uh, sometimes I'll come in here and then just add a little more with a brush. Just to make sure I, I want it to be covered good. Okay, now I've got this on this wheel and I will take some more glaze and just pour like this. That's probably two decent coats. You usually want two, maybe three decent coats on there. Okay, so now that I got that done, and now see how it's tacky? I can touch it, but it doesn't, uh, dis uh, doesn't mess it up. So then I'm going to come in with my cup and get some more glaze. This time I'm just going to pour it like this. So that's one good coat. This is a Temaku glaze, and it will it's gonna want to look approximately like this when we're done. It's sort of that Hamada uh, Temaku with a caramel Mashiko glaze over it, fake Mashiko we call them. So I'll cover that, let that dry a little. See how you can watch it as it dries. Then you know you're ready for another coat. So this time I'll just start up here and coat it. Two good coats, and then I'm going to come back, I'm just going to hit this coat here just one more time. So now I got this all pretty good. If you're really, you know, if you're worried, you can get some glaze here, you know, spin this a little. Didn't have to be completely perfect. I want to make sure you got a good even coat and stuff. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to come over here and I'll have this other bucket. Um, glaze in it. This is the Mashiko glaze. This is the caramel color glaze. So I will uh, get that mixed up pretty good. Now, when I do this, what the object is, is I'm not going to pour um, onto the plate. I'm going to have the plate go through the pour. So like for instance down here. See how I'm going to pour like this and then I'm just going to bring the plate through it like that. Gives you a really nice now, it doesn't look like it's contrived too bad. So let's say on this one now we're going to pour. We'll do it this way. And you see how thick that is? That's very thick. That's kind of the way you want this um, glaze to give you a nice caramel color. And then we may just take it and kind of dribble stuff across it like that. And it just looks nice and fluid and uh, smooth. 
Okay, so that's probably the, the end of that. Uh, you try that and uh, make about 40 of those, and we'll see you tomorrow. Okay.